Welcome back to the channel, Crypto Tro. I am Crypto Tro, bringing you the latest and the greatest in cryptocurrencies. And today we're going to talk about the new announcement DeFi Kino just did. That's right. You will have an opportunity to burn Crystal and Jade. And they just did this new structure where you can be allowed to do so. So we're going to get into that ASAP because I believe that's very bullish for the entire ecosystem and also we're going to talk about prices and this giveaway that i'm doing for all DeFi kingdoms players so make sure you stay tuned in watch the entire video and also i gotta let you know this is not financial advice whatsoever this is just me commentating on the cryptos that i currently invest in if you would like financial advice consult with the financial advisor before going too deep into the crypto space because it is volatile man so you don't want to lose money too early in the crypto because you can make a lot of money but you also can lose it as well so we're going to get straight into it let's do it so currently right now i am on deck screen and just looking at the price and we can see in the last 24 hours we are down seven percent on the day so it's been a red candlestick day but that's been across the entire crypto asset class so everything is pretty much down right now as of today but that's cool though because we know what DeFi Kenneth is doing and what they're building and what they plan on doing as well and right now it's looking like it's hitting that support so if it drop a little bit more I'm gonna go ahead and go deep into my bag and get some more jewel because with this announcement I just believe everything in the DeFi Kingdoms economy will blow up especially in a bull market man so we still are in that bear market we truly don't know what's gonna happen man. we don't know what's gonna happen so we just gotta wait and see until the bulls come back around now to the good stuff i know this is what you've been waiting for let's talk about it so DeFi kingdoms just put out this article yesterday they actually had an ama i haven't listened to it today but this is something new and bullish so feature release deferred fees and token offerings so today we are introducing two new features a deferred fee structure which allows players to defer game fees by using lock tokens and token offerings which give players the chance to win blessings of rare items in exchange for offerings of tokens the deferred free fee structure is available in crystalville and serendale while token offerings are currently only available in crystalville so let's read and find out what it's all about so the deferred fees what are deferred fees well the deferred fee structure allows players to choose to defer the fees for a selected game feature by utilizing lock tokens which unlock according to a preset schedule for access at a later date in order to access this option players opt to burn 3x the cost of the selected feature in lock tokens in addition to the base fee so which follows normal fee distributions so jeweler quest fund development and token burn these standard distributions will remain locked according to the unlocking schedule of the rim lock tokens are drawn from the player's lock balance and will reflect the total 4x deduction over the unlock cost when using deferred fees so what can you use deferred fees for so players can utilize the deferred fee structure for the following actions in both crystalville and serendale so we got hero summoning including hiring so you can summon heroes with your uh lock tokens and we got dark summoning we got pet hatching and we got leveling up which is the meditation circle and just a little note heroes only can be summoned using deferred fees once every 72 hours per round so every three days you can use your deferred fees to summon heroes when summoning higher heroes the rental fee to other players is always paid with unlocked tokens at the standard rate so using the deferred fees to use the deferred fee structure visit one of the game features mentioned above and select deferred fee under the fee type so this is pretty much how you would do it um, this is uh, showing just an example. We got the default fee and a deferred fee, and you can use your lock crystal and you know to actually continue to play the game. Then we see when you complete the transaction, the fee will be deducted from your lock token balance. So what about the token offerings, Tro? What are token offerings? So token offerings provide players with the opportunity to vie for a viable 
rotation of blessings from enhancement stones to Gen Zero Hero Crystals. So this is major because you might not have enough to buy Gen Zero Hero, but with the deferred fee, or not the deferred fee, but the token offering rather, you have the opportunity to get a Gen Z Zero Hero by using your lock tokens for the offering. At any given time, there are 10 active blessings with an offering period of 26 hours, along with a Gen Zero Hero blessing with an offering period of two weeks. The cost of a single offering starts at one crystal and increases over time at a rate of 0.12 crystal per offering. After a fifth of the total duration passes every 5.2 hours for the 26 blessings and 67.2 hours for the Gen Zero blessings. So what are the offering fees? Well, token offerings allow players to utilize their locked token balance as offering fees at the same rate as their unlocked token balance. A single offering therefore costs the same regardless of whether the player uses the default or deferred fee structure. In order to satisfy the great under tree, 75% of all proceeds from offerings will be burned. So that's right, 75% of all proceeds from the offerings will be burned, basically stating that jewel and, not jewel, but crystal and jade will be burned once you do these offering fees. The, seven, the remaining 25% ensures that the internal flame will burn bright and will be transferred to the quest fund. The fur fees will remain locked in the quest fund following the standard unlocking schedule of the realm. So how do you submit an offer? Well, you visit Glute the Furnace at the Meditation Circle in Crystalville. Choose a blessing and fee type, then input the number of offerings you wish you to make and submit the transaction. There's no maximum number of offerings per blessing. So you can do how many offerings you want to do, and this will take away from your lock, jade, or crystal. So once submitted, your offerings will reflect along with the percent chance of winning based on other players' offerings. Once the blessing has closed, additional transactions are needed to finalize the offering and then draw a winner for the blessing. May the blessings of the under tree spread warmth upon you. So very, very bullish in my personal opinion because now we see we have a chance to actually burn J and Crystal every time we do something like this, man. So that's major um, because now people will have, you know, another utility for Jade and Crystal rather than just using it for in-game things. So very, very bullish. I love what they're doing. DeFi Kingdoms is doing some crazy, amazing things with the project. I think they will continue to do good things as well. So enough of that. Let's get to the good stuff, the giveaway. So I am doing a DeFi Kingdoms giveaway, and this will be announced a week from February 6th. So what I'm giving away, I will be giving away two heroes, two green necks, to three lucky winners. And all you got to do is do two things. So follow me, like, and retweet this tweet, and I will announce the winners in one week. And we can see so far it's got 120 retweets and 133 likes. So a lot of people enter in for a chance to win. Hopefully, you get a chance to win. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, Charles Go Crypto, to enter in, and you can get all updates on the giveaway. And I, like I said, it will be one week from February 6th. So stay tuned, and I will announce the winners on Twitter and on my YouTube channel. So this is my video for today, Crypto Troll. I'm out of here.